So a fashion photographer needs to hire a stylist to prepare his models for a shoot. Anna charges $15 for showing up, plus $8 per hour. Jaden charges $20 to show up, plus $7 per hour. Give the expected duration of his photo shoot. Either styles would cost him the same amount. What would the cost be? What would the duration be? I'm just going to use Y and X for everything. Um, so Y is going to be the cost. And X is going to be the hour, hours. So we'll do the first one slowly and then I'll speed up for the next. Um, so the cost for, Aunt to, for Anna is it's, it's a $15 flat cost to just show up. And then for every hour, she charges eight. So it'll be eight times the number of hours. Similarly, Jaden charges $20 to show up and then $7 per hour. Given the expected duration of his photo shoot, either style would cost him the same amount. That's basically saying these two equations are equal. And we're gonna solve it with substitution, which means we're gonna solve, we're gonna put this in for here, and we're gonna get 15 plus 8x equals 20 plus 7x. And then we'll subtract 7x from both sides, which will make that go away. We'll subtract 15 from both sides, which will give us x equals 5. And then we can plug 5 into either of these to get our y. So if we plug it into the second one, it'll be 20 plus 35 or 55, so y equals 55. And you could also have plugged the five into here and gotten 55, because it would be eight times five is 40 plus 15 is 55. So that's a nice check. That kind of tells you you did the problem, right? So in theory, to do this well and slowly, you should write down what y is, what x is, um, like y is the cost, x is the hours, you should think through the equations, you should set them equal, and then you should, you know, nicely write your answers and hours and dollars. But just in the interest of time, I probably won't do that. I won't explain all the variables every single time. We'll just do it, I feel. Um, but, you, you know, there's only one, there's only one option here, right? So x is the hours, so that's five hours. And Y is the cost, so that's 55. So $55 for five hours, right? What, what I, yeah, well, let's, I'll just keep going. $55 for five hours, okay. So let's do this again. You know, I'm just gonna, you know, skim this. Luke can make 14 pieces an hour and has already made five. So that's telling you that this is the, you know, an hour thing, so that should get the X, right? So Y equals, 14x, and he's already made 15, so plus 15 flat. And Dylan has made 17 and can make 13 per hour, right? So they're trying to like change the order up on you, so it's really 13x plus 17. When they both reach the same number of pizzas, they will be done, right? So like, when is that? How many will they have made, right? Basically, they're always gonna be asking, what's the X, what's the Y when you, saw, when you set them equal to each other? So when we set these equal to each other, we're gonna get 14X plus 15 equals 13X plus 17. Subtract this minus 13X, that'll give us x plus 15 equals 17. Subtract 15 from both sides, you get x equals 2. And then you can plug it into either of these. I'll plug it into here. 28 plus 15 is 43, so it should be 2 and 43. So it's 2 and 43. Okay. Um, y equals 22 for showing up plus four per hour. That's the thing that gets the X. 
Uh, Isabel charges $12 to show up plus nine per hour. That gets the X. Set these equal. You'll get 22 plus 4X equals 12 plus 9X. That's going to give us 10 equals 5X. I'm going to do two steps at once. 10 equals 5X. Subtract the 12, subtract the 4X. So X equals 2. Plug in the 2 here. You get 8 plus 22 is 30. So 2 and 30. 2 and 30. Now, we would have to be careful if they ever had like 30 and 2. Like if they switched it, then we'd have to read more carefully. But they're not doing that, which is nice. So. Blah, 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 blah. 19 laps and was setting a pace of 9 laps per hour. So y equals 9x plus 19. And Chuck was done 12 laps and was setting a pace of 10 laps per hour. So 10x plus 12. Set them equal. 10x plus 12 equals 9x plus 19. Uh, subtract 9, x, subtract 12, x equals 7. Put the 7 in here, that's way easier. 10 times 7 is 70, plus 12 is 82, so we should be looking for the 7 and the 82. That's 7 hours, 82 laps. Four pizzas an hour. 40 May 22. Um, nine pizzas per hour. 40 May 12. Set them equal. 4x plus 22 equals 9x plus 12. That's going to give us 10 equals 5x. That's going to give us x equals 2. So we have two pizza, uh, two, and then we plug in the 2 here. We get 8 plus 22 is 30, so it should be 2 and 30. All right, I'm going to skip some steps because I'm going really slow. So we're going to do 70 degrees per hour. I'm just going to not even write the y. I'm just going to set them equal. Well, that's that's bad. That won't be that fast. 16x plus 17. Um, and then y equals 15x plus 19. Set these equal. You'll get 16x plus 17 equals 15x plus 19. This will give you x equals 2. Put it in here. That will give you 30 plus 19 is 49. So 2 and 49. Thank you. All right. Uh, 13 laps, 9 laps per hour. y equals 9x plus 13. 7 laps per hour. y equals 7x plus 21, 9x plus 13 equals 7x plus 21. This will give us, subtract the 7x, subtract the 13, 2x equals 8, x equals 4, plug that into either, I'll put it in here, that'll give me 28 plus 21 is 49. So 4 and 49. Three laps per hour, y equals 3x plus 24. Slopes are rates. So if you have a per hour, you know that's the slope. Uh, it's four laps per hour, y equals 4x plus 9. 4x plus 9 equals 3x plus 24. That's going to give us x equals 15.
We plug that in here, we get 45 plus 24 is 69. So 15 and 69 right there. Okay. 11 degrees per hour, y equals 11x plus 17. Look for the per hour, 8 degrees per hour, y equals 8x plus 23. Set them equal, 8x plus 23 equals 11x plus 17. Subtract the 8, so you get 3x. Subtract the 7, you get 17, you get 6. 6 equals 3x, x equals 2, that's 16, plus 23 is 39. So you have 39 and 2. All right, last one. 9% per hour. Okay, so y equals 9x plus 15. y equals 7x plus 21, 9x plus 15 equals 7x plus 21, so that'll give us 2x equals 6, or x equals 3. So we end up with, well, we need to do this, so 27 plus 15 is 42. So 42% in three hours. All right, guys, I know that was a little bit long, but you know, it's, it's good practice. Um, take your time, you don't have to do it super fast, and I will see you guys next time.